Ever since man stepped on the moon in 1969, space exploration has worked to reach the next stepping stone in our solar system, Mars. On a barren island high in the Arctic Circle, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency have been training for the jump to the Red Planet. Surprisingly, their rovers of choice for the simulated Martian landscape are Kawasaki ATVs. What's up everybody? Justin Dawes, Moto USA. We are in the middle of nowhere. Actually, we're on the top of nowhere. We are at the 75th parallel, which is uh, pretty darn close to the North Pole. Uh, so here we are at uh, Houghton Crater. Uh, it's uh, on Devon Island. Uh, Houghton Crater is a meteorite impact crater. It formed uh, 39 million years ago uh, with the impact of an object uh, from space that was probably about half a mile in size. And it created this uh, gigantic scar at the surface of the Earth. Uh, that uh, was about 20 kilometers or 15 or so miles across when it, when it was first formed. The Devon Island itself, where this crater is found today, is the largest uninhabited island on our planet. And the reason why we come up here is because uh, we have a combination of factors that make this place uh, one of the most Mars-like places on our planet. It's cold. Uh, we're in the Arctic at 75 degrees north. It's uh, dry, there's very little rain, uh, even in the summer and the rest of the year everything is frozen. It's windy, it's unvegetated, it's rocky, uh, it's dusty, and it, it's scarred by an impact crater just like uh, much of the surface of Mars is. And so uh, we come here because uh, even though this is not an environment that, that is as extreme and uh, as lethal as Mars is, uh, it's, uh, it's one step in the right direction. So for many years now, we have been uh, using ATVs to support our research activities. And the ATVs we've chosen to use uh, are Kawasaki uh, ATVs. Uh, they are actually research tools. Uh, just like uh, uh, a geologist will use a microscope to examine minerals closer in a rock or a, a microscopic slide, uh, we use ATVs here in sort of the, the bigger world of the geologist and the explorer to, to actually get to the rocks, to the outcrops. The ATVs take our science eyes, our brains, our, our uh, sampling tools all the way to, to the rocky outcrops in this landscape. And so in a very profound sense, uh, these vehicles are a, a, a very fundamental research tool for us and, and that's why we want them to be reliable as well. We have now a fleet of 24 ATVs. They're all Kawasaki Bayous. Using ATVs as geology field tools, I never really considered that as a, as a valuable tool for field geology, and today, man, it really proved me wrong. <laughs> It was incredible. I mean, I, actually, on the way out, I was thinking that would have been a several hour hike that we did in 30 minutes. So, I mean, that really shaves off time. And out here, time's a big deal because it's expensive and costly to work up here. So, ATV really saves a lot. Definitely the only way for us to get out there and, and do sampling out in the field uh, over this type of terrain. The hikes would just be uh, really impossible to do. So, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and it's, uh, it's very useful. So it's a good experience all the way around.